So hello guys, Panakayan here and in today's video I'll show you guys how you can turn this cube into this using anti-aliasing. So first of all I'll explain it to you guys what is anti-aliasing. Uh, sorry, uh, let me just see how it's pronounced. Anti-aliasing. So first of all let's talk about overview. So first of all let's take a look at what is anti-aliasing. Uh, so as you can see right here for it's an illustration so this is the line without anti-aliasing and this is the line with anti-aliasing so as you can see right here there's a there are a lot of jaggy edges here but there are like less jaggy edges here that makes it look and feel good so basically what the computer does in anti-aliasing is it detects like these sort of columns or something and fills them up as you can see here in this picture and when you zoom out it's like re looks very smooth yeah so let's so here's a let's take a look at what is anti-aliasing its definition so anti-aliasing is a technique used to get rid of jagged edges on your screen which appears as a result of rectangular pixels forming non-rectangular shapes um, so it's the definition for dummies now let's I'll also take a look at this picture so it's before and after anti-aliasing as you can see right here there are a lot of jaggy edges and here it's much more smooth and feels good so how does a computer do anti-aliasing so there are some more examples of um, non-aliased and anti-aliased lines so it's a bit more jaggy and it's less jaggy and as you can see right here so yeah thank you it's the end of the slideshow uh, i used this uh, template on www.presentationgo.com uh, it's free to use and yeah make sure to go and check it out so let's move on the tutorials so boot up your unity hub or I think you have an existing application or game first of all I recommend using this high render pipeline if you have used this 3d thing don't worry I'm going to show you how you can um, use anti-aliasing to improve your shapes and then later I'll move on to universal render pipeline so yep yeah, let's create a new project It sounds like anti alias sync. <laughs> Do you know that YouTuber? So yep, let's create it. After the project's created, I know you you can trust me because while doing anti aliasing I definitely didn't burn down my laptop. So yeah, you can trust me. So first of all, uh you might have an existing project and you might have installed a post processing effects. So, unfortunately, you need to remove that package. Um, most of you will know, you just need to search it in the package manager window. If you don't, don't have this window, just go to windows and then package manager. So, you need to remove it. I already have removed it. I recommend um, creating a backup of your project just in case. Yeah, um, I can do anything. And then... Uh, you might have created some scripts for post-processing effects so for that case you can like uh, you're you're coding in C sharp so add uh, like two slashes like uh, just a second like this to remove that line and yep or just do something like um, uh, this at the start and then this at the end to convert like a big paragraph into thing so that you don't get any errors so after that first I'll prepare scene to show you guys how you 
after before and after uh, the anti-aliasing. So I've created a cube right here. And then let's see it in the game view. I'll quickly just edit the scene so you guys will be able to see everything that I do. So I've rotated this side so you can see everything and here as you can see in game view it's looking very pixelish jaggy even if you zoom out and if you zoom it then it's ultimate pixelish so to fix this first I'll move the gun move the scale then you need to go to package manager then search for universal render pipeline just a second universal rp so if you have already created a universal render pipeline project uh, as i showed you before uh, the template one then you don't need to follow this procedure you can skip to the time timestamp in the description so yep, uh, for those who, who, of you who are using a normal 3D template, just hit install and it will start installing it. First I think it will download. Until then, I will create a new material for a cube because I don't know why but I don't like that color. So I'll create a new material and then convert it into red. Ah, it's so difficult for me. Uh, yep. And then close it. And then give it to the key. Ah, uh, but this is back installing first, so yep. Do it. So yeah. After this is done, uh, let's finish assigning this material to the queue, which is very really easy. And it's looking a bit better. And let me just change the lighting a bit. Better lighting. lighting. And then let's push probe. And then directional probe and then make some light and see this looking even better so now let's now we need to create a new object so right click in the asset thing and then go to create rendering universal render pipeline and then click on this pipeline asset forward renderer and then it will create a new object and I want you can name it anything but I'm going to name it the default thing now you need to go to edit project settings then on this graphics menu you'll see the script will render pipeline settings so currently no pipeline is selected now we need to select one click on the circle thing and then you'll find this uh, universal render pipeline asset click on this and it will be applied and then close these two things now most of our steps are done but, but as you can see right here our cube turn purple and most probably all of your assets and things like that what it should have turned uh, purple which is completely normal to fix it go to edit render pipeline Universal render pipeline and upgrade to project material project materials to universal render pipeline materials. So now click on it and then click on proceed. And after some time, see it's normal now. 
So now, go to this Universal Render Pipeline Asset. There are two of them. Uh, one is Universal Render Pipeline Asset, and under the one is Universal Render Pipeline Asset Vendor. So we need to go to Universal Render Pipeline Asset and go to do exactly as I do. Um, so now go under this quality bar, quality thing, and then you'll find this HDR. I think it's full form is high dynamic resolution. Um, no, it's high dynamic range range. Yeah. So enable this, and here you will see this anti aliasing. Now on this thing, go to do eight times. It's the best. Now I'm just Shadow resolution to 4096. This improves the thing, things. And from here, we are almost done. Now you need to go to main camera, and then you will find this a uh, rendering option. Uh, you will not find it in the normal 3D project if you have not imported this universal render pipeline. Now go to anti-aliasing and click on, on this drop-down menu and click on fast approximate anti-LS or FX display and then yeah. and then I think we should see the changes now let's go to game mode um, so now uh, and there's one more thing you need to do you need to update these materials so I'm quickly going to delete it and create a new material Then we should see the magic happen. So, as you can see right now, it's all fixed and there are no jaggy lines. But if you zoom in, there's still jaggy lines, and that's normal. But you need to zoom out. So, if I disable this and then on the render pipeline, also, mm, I disable everything. And then anti saying where's the thing? You will see these jaggy lines again as soon as enable HDR and anti aliasing these jaggy lines are gone. It's very hard to notice, but let's try and zoom in and see it. So as you can see right here, as soon as I enable anti aliasing here, it improves and it fills the edges. And as soon as I go to end camera and fast the proximate anti aliasing it improves it even more. So yeah, that's how you do it. And I will create a scene, normal scene, with some cubes. As you can see right here, everything's smooth and yeah, that's how you do it. So now let's move to the Universal Render Pipeline one. I'm sure that you must have created Universal Render Pipeline. If you have not started working on your project yet, then I recommend using Universal Render Pipeline. And then let's create a new project. So yep, we have created this project. So by default, it opens a scene. Um, so I'll just wait until it loads yep so as you can see right here it's the scene but we want to create a new scene so yep I'll go to file and then new scene so it's completely new and you can also see right here they're already like universal render pi pipeline high quality one and universal render pipeline dual quality and medium quality you can select any one of these and go to edit project settings quality and choose whichever you want there are three of them I'm choosing the high quality one and then in the high quality one I'll move it to maximum now I'll go to main camera 
and in rendering I'll enable anti fast approximate anti aliasing and create a new cube to show you guys see right now I've created the scene now let's test it as you can see right here it's smooth as butter if butter is smooth I don't know so let's move this camera a bit more forward Yep, so as you can see right here, it's smooth and when you zoom in and out and in and out. So let's try it on Maximize on Play and see it's as smooth as water. And now let's try it on Max by after removing the uh, all the anti-aliasing. So as you can see right now it's back to being a lot jaggy and a lot less smooth so yeah that's how you create all of these smooth cubes uh, like the show you in Bucky's and Danny's tutorials so yeah so that's all we have time for today thank you guys for watching video please subscribe if you enjoyed it or if it was helpful if you have any problem just write me in the comment section down below and we are so close to reaching 100 subscribers. We have, I think, about 89 right now. Thank you guys for all your support and goodbye.